As you know, in a traditional hair transplant surgery, a small piece of tissue is taken out of the back of your head where the hair is permanent, and then that's broken up into individual grafts, and those hairs are moved. Now they're moved to wherever you need them, typically the front of the head. <clears throat> um, and I get this question often, will that hair in the back grow back? Well, you've got to think of it a little bit like a surgeon. Those hairs will grow back, but they're going to grow back in a different place, wherever they've been moved to. So, let me draw you an illustration. If this is your head, a blank piece of paper, this is the back of your head, and I'm not the world's greatest illustrator. If you take a very small bit of tissue from the back, and remember there's hair below, and usually we tape up any hair above it so that it doesn't interfere with our surgery. So this is hair that's been taped up. And most people' head isn't shaped, most people's head isn't shaped like Charlie Brown, so you have to pardon my illustration here. Once that little bit is taken out, and it's usually pretty thin, and you have plenty of uh, extra redundant skin back there, it's like an elbow or a knee, you have a, you know, extra skin, then what happens is this, and we'll try my origami on camera. That part is sewn to that part, you see, like this. <laughs> that part is sewn down to that part. So you have hair next to hair, opposing is, is how, the, how doctors will say it. So you have hair right next to hair, and, and you might end up with a very fine scar. Now, most scars these days, if you're going to somebody who's experienced in this kind of surgery, would be maybe a millimeter or two wide. And most people these days are also doing what's called a trichophytic closure, so that the hair grows through the scar. But all of this hair that was in this area has been moved and is now going to be growing where you want it to. It wasn't doing you very much good there at the back of the head to reframe your face, usually, so it is now doing its best job of, of making you look younger and more your age and filling in those gaps that were bothering you before. So, yes, the hair does grow back, just in a different location.